Hello guys, in this video I want to show you how to work with exporting and importing Excel files with Laravel Excel package for bigger files specifically. And there's no one way to do that, so I will show my vision and the vision of my teammate who created part of that demo project and you may find a different way, so shoot in the comments your any ideas or any counter comments to my ideas and let's discuss. So first, how it works by default, so export and import. So in the home controller where we have that export and import methods, they are pretty simple. First, in the routes web, we have route get to export and route post to import. Then each of them has its own class for export and import, which is from Laravel Excel, and it is optimized quite a bit for the performance. So for transactions export, well, first database structure. Here's the database structure of transaction with a relationship to user ID as well. So it is optimized in a way that in transaction query the user relation is eager loaded and then the transaction is mapped with username and all of those fields so it's pretty fast and for 10,000 records which I have in my local database I click export and let's count the seconds one two two seconds so it's pretty quick and let's try to import the same file in the CSV format and the import looks like this so transaction import it's also optimized in terms of query. So the user should be mapped to the user ID instead of username. So CSV file contains the username, but it should be mapped to user ID. And for that, we one time we query the database and get all the users, plug them by name. And I have a separate video on plug. What does that mean? And I have linked that in the description below. But basically you have one query to users and then you use the collection result to map the user. And also there's a chunk by 5,000, which makes it also chunkable by parts. So if I click import and I choose the same CSV, this one, again, let's count the time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Of course it's slower, the importing is slower than the export, but it's still okay. It's not reaching 30 seconds limit of PHP script running or something like that. So it is okay for 10,000 records. But what if we have a million? Then multiply those seconds by 100 and then you will totally run into issues. So how to deal with that? And we're not only optimizing for the speed and the performance, but more, even more for user experience. So user wouldn't have even to wait for a second or two, and they would be informed what is actually happening, export or import while they wait for whatever is the amount of time to wait. And generally Laravel Excel package has a few methods to help us with that. So you can add jobs to the queue. For example, invoices export, you can queue that and chain the export notification, something like that. So send an email when it's done. So you can do the queue import for the Excel as well, and it would be added also to the queue. But this method has nothing to do with informing the user while they wait. So we will implement it a bit differently without Laravel Excel queue methods with general Laravel queues, jobs, and job batching. And for informing the user, for refreshing the current status of the batch, we will use Laravel Livewire. You can do it with Vue.js or something like that. So refresh the status every two seconds or so. So in the blade file, instead of the old HTML, we have Livewire components, export and import. And first, actually, I'll show you how it works. So I refresh the page, I click the export, and it says exporting, please wait. And the job of export is actually in the queue. It isn't started yet. So I'm using database queue driver. And if we go to jobs, I have the payload of app jobs, export jobs. So I have a separate export job and I need to start the queue. It could be started automatically or it could be running queue work. Now it is processing and while it is processing, nothing really changes, but when it's done, it says done and download file here, which downloads the file. So this is a much better user experience, don't you think? So you wait for a few seconds and for example, let's refresh actually here and let's leave the queue work running. So I don't do anything. I click export, exporting, please wait. Every two seconds, the system checks the status of the batch and when it's done, which is in five seconds or so, the file is ready for download. Similar for the import, we choose the file, we choose the latest CSV, we import, 
and importing please wait meanwhile in the queue what we have import job processing it will take a bit longer of course so first two jobs are like two seconds and what do we have for the import job it should be around 15 seconds i would assume 14 seconds and when it is done finished importing it could potentially have a link to like refresh the page or something but that's your choice so how does it work under the hood so if we take a look at livewire component export what does it have it has the export method which is actually called on actually let's open export blade of that live wire and that click of export fires the method export in the component this is what is happening so we have batching of the job or actually batch of one job but batch is still important and i will get back to that in a minute so we have export job it uses the same transaction export class the one that we've seen before so we are reusing the same export classes of laravel excel for the same export and import we are just doing that in a job and we store the file for example it's hard-coded file at the moment you can customize that somehow but you fire the job in a bus batch then you get the batch id which is laravel function for job batches and we have two status kind of status variables exporting and export finished and then in the blade of that live wire component, we have if it's still exporting and not finished, we show exporting, please wait. And if it is finished, down download the file. Important bit here is update export progress. Wirepol is a live wire feature which refreshes the full component every two seconds by default, but you can customize that with Wirepol from what I remember dot. 500 milliseconds or something like that just check the documentation for that syntax so wirepol refreshes the component every two seconds calling the method update export progress and update export progress is this one it queries the export batch whether it's finished or not export batch is a property here export batch we're getting batch id and find batch by its id so it's also a laravel q laravel bus function and this returns true or false, finished or not. So every two seconds, this refreshes and then in turn re-renders the whole export. So every two seconds, basically on the screen, we see finished or not. And as soon as it is finished, download export is another live wire method, but it can be even not live wire. So download the CSV. Of course, it could be more customizable for CSV, like variable file name and stuff like that but the methodology you see the pattern here and you see the logic very similar things are happening in livewire import component so let's open it up it has a bit more logic because it's dealing with file uploads but the import method is doing roughly the same thing so validating the file this is not strictly livewire thing the main thing is here again bus batch of import job of import file path is the result of where the file is stored again we're dealing with batch id and inside of that import job all it does it's the same thing we're using the same transaction import class that we saw previously even without bus batching so we're firing that excel import in a job we pass the upload file as a parameter here that's also important to notice and then same thing update import progress if it's finished or not if it's finished then we delete the temporary file and importing false and import finish true and then the same import batch property deals with batch id and in the import blade if we open that up of livewire it's really similar so submit prevent import which actually fires the import when the file is uploaded then if it's still importing and not finished we show importing please wait and do wire poll every two seconds to update the progress and if it's finished it's finished importing i will put all that code in the repository for you to check and to try it out and play around also have a separate video about bus batching with queues in laravel so i will link that in the description below and also have a separate course on the queues in laravel which is on my laravel daily.teachable.com platform with 20 more courses so if you want all of them a better way is to subscribe to yearly membership for just 99 dollars per year you will get all the courses and everything upcoming in a year ahead that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos